Hey guys, it's Robbie here and this is Frecky Fit Wolf. It is Tuesday, so it's time for another week's weigh in. All right, you beautiful people, happy Tuesday. Before I get into anything else, I do want to say happy birthday to my father. And you guys, please, in the comments, tell him happy birthday. I want to show him all the love. Um, my father is 69 years old today, and like a true 12 year old boy, I laughed my butt off when I did the math and realized he is 69. But either way, he's an awesome person, he's an awesome father, so please tell him happy birthday for me. Um, moving on. So I'm going to talk about my weigh-in and about the new WW plan. So, first of all, the weigh-in. I don't know if you guys have noticed the pattern, but I have realized my pattern is do really well one week, screw up horribly the next week. Do really well, screw up. Do really well, screw up. And that has not failed. Last week I did really well. I lost 10, no, 13 pounds. And this week I gained 10 of it back. Um, I guess I should say the number. I am, what, 323.6. So I gained 10.4 pounds this week. But on the bright side, the week before that, I weighed 227. So now I'm 223. So in the two-week period, I'm still down three pounds. So overall, it's still a loss. So I'm trying to focus on that, that it's a slow move. Even if it's a boom, 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 it just, if you draw a line through the big jumps, it's steadily going down. Um, that's what I'm trying to focus on, but I am trying to focus on staying better. So one of my huge goals is to, my main goal right now, is to lose weight two weeks in a row. That's, that's my goal right now. Like, all of the long-term goals, you know, I want to get back to the 100 pounds loss, but now I'm at 53 pounds loss. So that's quite a ways away now, which is sad because I was there a few months ago, not even that long ago. But it is, it is what it is. I hate the phrase, but it's true. Um, so my main goal is to lose weight two weeks in a row. And I'm really, really hoping that the new WW plan does help that happen. Um, I am excited about it, but I am also nervous and I'm trying not to be a negative Nancy because I know there were a lot of them online yesterday. Um, anything new is scary. It is intimidating. It is daunting, but especially, especially for those people that the old plans were working because I saw a lot of people throwing a fit about the complainers or the, or the people that were trying to, you know, retake the test. And it's like, what they had was working, so of course they want to figure out how to get back to that. But um, what, what I had, I mean, I think any of it can work. It's just if we work it and if we follow it. So, um, so yeah, so I, I'm excited, but I, I am a little bit nervous. Like, guys, I get 49 daily points and 28 weekly points. Uh, and then, you know, if you drink 60 ounces of water, you get an extra point. And it goes on your daily points, not your weeklies. Keep that in mind. Um, if you drink, uh, and that's once, once per day, you can get that, but unlimited one cup servings of vegetables, you can earn an extra point that way. Um, and that goes in your dailies, not your weeklies, but they still have the rollovers. If you do the rollovers, um, any activity that you do does go into your weekly points. Um, and I have been working on that. Like this morning I was watching the great British baking show and it made me hungry but I was walking in place as I was watching it, jogged a few times. But y'all, one thing I have to say, I love my cat. But when the dogs were here, you know, they, like if I did something on the floor, you know, they'd want to lick, but they'd want to get closer. We're like, what's going on? Ghost, on the other hand, he thinks we're playing if I'm being extra like that. And so he attacks me. So my theory is if I bleed out because of him, I'll lose weight. Joking aside, um, it was very kind of frustrating, but it was kind of very funny that he kept attacking me. I did have to switch to taller shoes because I was barefoot. And I'm like, okay, if he's going to keep doing that. And I might have stepped on him a couple times, but, you know, he'll learn. Anyway, um, so my zero-point foods, just it's going to be different for everybody. So I do want to just share what mine are, the, the list that I got. Um, so basically your typical non-starchy vegetables – and then as far as starchy vegetables, I get I got the potato one. So you get potatoes, you get yams, you get uh, plantains, which is great. Like I haven't had plantains in quite a while, but I used to love plantains. 
Uh, so you get those. And then your typical fruits. And then I this time I am now getting uh, the proteins. I'm getting the beans. So uh, I just went grocery shopping. So like uh, black beans, you know, lentils, any kind of beans. I also get eggs for zero points and fat-free yogurt and fat-free cottage cheese. The fat-free cottage cheese kind of annoyed me though because I can't find it. I was at well, all these yesterday. They didn't have it. I went to Walmart today to buy stuff because I'm making chili today. Um, I went to all, uh, Walmart today to buy that because I was like, I want to save money because I'm a little broke person right now. And so I'm going to go to Walmart. They have a bigger selection than Aldi's. Uh, Aldi. So let's go there. They have the 1%. It's the lowest fat they have. They did not have the 0%. Or 0%? The non-fat one. Um, I know I've seen it before because I've had it, but I don't know where I can find it. If anybody's in St. Louis, let me know where you find non-fat uh, cottage cheese. But at the same time, it's not that big a deal. This is two, uh, or yeah, two points per half cup serving, and there's six servings in there, so it's a you know it's 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 a decent amount, um, or a decent amount of points. It's it's not bad. Because what, 6 times 2 is 12? So this whole thing, 12 points. If I would eat the whole thing. But for 49 points, I freaking could. But um, but yeah, so I get those. And then as far as grains, I now get whole wheat grain, whole wheat slash whole grain pasta, brown rice pasta, black bean pasta, those type of things are on my zero point pasta list. Uh, I... Again, I've had this issue before, and I'm, I'm going to try to think about it, but and if you guys can give me tips, let me know. I'm really intimidated by the fact that all of those things that I love are zero points. Like, I answered the question like it asked, what do you like? And... Um, and it's cool, but the thing is, like, I like it. So, it sh in my head, it shouldn't be zero points because I seriously could mash up all these potatoes. Well, maybe not all of them, but like half of these potatoes and eat the entire pot. I could legit do that. And one potato, is it listed on here? Yeah. One potato is 110 calories. But, like... You know, it's just, I don't know. You guys know, I've, I've struggled with this thought before. Um, it's intimidating because, like, I can make I can make my pot of chili because I'm using ground turkey. And I can even add cheese to it. This is zero points for a, a one-fourth of a cup. This is the Kraft fat-free cheddar cheese. Zero points for a fourth of a cup. So I can do all that, eat my cottage cheese, and spend 26 points for the entire pot of chili. I can eat this bread. This bread is one point per slice. The Sara Lee whole wheat bread. One point per slice. I, I could have potatoes. It, like, I, it's a lot of food is what I'm trying to say. I, I'm getting a little disgruntled. Sorry. I'm trying to be upbeat and positive and looking for it. I'm going to do it. But I could have a pot of chili, a carton of this, bread. I could do the, I can't believe it's not butter light is that one point per um per tablespoon and all these points obviously are on my plan i don't know on other people's plans i'm not that person but all that for like half of what i get in a day i would still get like 20 something points left in the day not to mention once i drink my water once my activity goal is met and if i threw in any vegetables so but you get where I'm coming from? Am I making myself clear? I don't know if I'm explaining myself properly. It's a lot of food, still have a ton of points left, and I think if I track my calories, it would be a ton over. And before you guys say anything about like, oh, but you won't eat a pot of chili. I legit can, I legit did last week. I would not be 300 pounds if I ate a normal person serving size. So, I'm nervous about that because basically that's all the food that I bought today. I thought it would be more points and I thought I would, you know, be whatever. So 
if you can give me some tips and tricks, let me know. I know some people have said track points after a serving. How many points? How do you determine this? Do I just make up my own rules? And if that's the case, why am I paying Weight Watchers? <laughs> and then, um, other than that, the only thing I can think of is I should have just not got like the light version of this. If I got normal butter, if I got normal cheese, if I got normal ground beef instead of ground turkey, then I'd be meeting my point goal. But would, but would my calories go higher? And is that good? I don't know. I don't know what to do, you guys. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to figure it out. But it's hard, especially for somebody my size with my kind of points. And all of the, you know, meal plans that they have in the app, I was like, oh, that's cool. They have all these meal plans. But for people that are skinny already or like half my size, maybe not skinny, but half my size that get the bare minimum points. They're getting like, I don't even know with the new point system. Let's see with the old points system, they're getting like 20 points or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how the points work on the, on the, <laughs> the smaller person size. Um, sorry, now I'm coming off very frustrating. And I guess I am. I, I was really excited. And I, I just, when I actually plugged things into the planner, I'm like, oh. But ultimately, I am making healthy decisions. I am getting healthier for me, foods in my body. I am being more active. And that's the best we can do. But I just got to decide if, if I were to eat that entire pot of chili, I need to get something else that has points in my system. And I don't know what that would be. And I thought I spent all the money that I was going to spend today. So yeah, on that lovely note, I've got some math and some thinking and some all that stuff to do. So I will talk to you guys later. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Bye-bye.